So I went to my grandparents and I got a couple of gadgets. I found this bad boy again. This is crazy. Fire, complete absolute fire. I found this, what's the English word for querflöte? Alto flute? I think it's supposed to be kind of like this. Ah, so you hold it like this. Huh? Oh my God, okay. Fire. I want to start the week off on a nice sample. So let's make that shit happen. This is a magical BPM, bro. Trust me. so hard just kind of hard cool nice this is about how much we can do today yeah so be playful with the creativity that's always key yeah keep it childish as much as possible i'm gonna make some shade shade sade type shit whoa here we go switch it around bruv bum and then so much i don't even know what chilling feels like lay my heart down on a beat like lay my channel when your teach days used to make waves now the shit feeling like deep tides stuck in my ego the shit turn into me my like feeling played out i switch and play the b side and if everything fails then we at least try You know, 
honestly, the biggest goal is to make music that you like yourself. That's like it's the craziest thing. What I found really helpful in this whole sample making process is the same way I can't make the same beat twice because I just get bored. I noticed having like a nice routine for when you get into your day of creating is crucial for me. And the routine encompasses a little bit of vocal warm up, uh, then learning some piano and then a little bit of guitar playing. Sometimes I throw a little bit of playing flute in there or guitar, whatever, but that way even if the day turns to shit and I don't like make anything cool, it was still a successful day because I practiced a little bit and I tried and applied myself. Today I wanna really give this flute a run for its money. I'm still big noob, big noob on the flute, but man, sometimes you just need to have that mindset that you can play shit. You just gotta tell yourself, I can play this. And then sometimes you can, you know? <laughs> Maybe not I can play this, but I can use this to make samples. <laughs> I feel like Andre 3000. <laughs> just made, I make a, I think that idea is so cool to make a flute album, bro. I think that is so authentic. Making a flute album, that's just so cool. It just reminds me of that moment when this Japanese guy found him and he goes Andre! Mm start with a drum loop actually This is not even that bad. Yeah, I wonder how how do you play? Nasty bass line. This is like the verse type shit. Like it's good. Oh. oh, this is like some like like Cypress Hill. What is this?
Nah, this is insane. So I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Sonarworks. I've been using their Sound ID reference monitoring system. Basically I put this as a VST on my master and it allows me to switch through different listening environments. Like I can listen to how something would sound on AirPods or on in-ears or on laptops and all these like and different studio speakers or a flat profile. And this really improved my mixes because I used to have the problem where I would mix my stuff and it would sound great in a studio and then I would play it at a friend's place and it would sound like shit. I love to turn this on and off or sometimes leave it on and get like a really good flat profile. They also got Black Friday deals going on from the 23rd to, till the 27th of November where you can get up to 60% off their products. I'll leave a link to Sonarworks in the description, definitely check them out. It helped me with my mixes, so go check them out and let's continue with the video. Inverting G into second inversion. Hey, sun is coming out, bro. That's what I waited for. So today is the last day of making my sample pack. 
Um, I'm dropping a new sample pack called Sakura Season. And um, yeah, I wanted it to have this like Japanese sound. And yeah, today I'm gonna wrap it up. I have no idea what I'm gonna make today actually. But I think, I think it will be like, I first start out with this like Asian rock type of melody. <laughs>
anyway, that concludes the this episode of Gami Make Samples. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, go check out Sonarworks. Shout out to them. Link to that in, is in the description. Check out Sound Reference ID. Also, the sample pack will be available on my website, wavysounds.com. Go check it out. There's a bunch of free shit on there too. Um, I think I put over 15 samples in this. 10 with stamps and then 5 bonus samples. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Much love, guys. I see you on the next one. Peace.